Today, I'm going to show you five different CAD tools that you can use to start designing your projects digitally before you actually build them. And the best news is they're completely free and better than ever. This video is brought to you by FlexiSpot. More about them a little bit later in the video. Each of these CAD systems has its own unique strengths. And so I'm going to go through and highlight what I feel is the best available system for each different category. And the first one is the best CAD system to get started on for a beginner. And that one is Onshape. This isn't a step-by-step how-to tutorial, rather it's an overview. So I'm just gonna show you what you can do with these things. Now, Onshape has different tiers of paid plans, which do cost quite a bit, but the free plan is just about as powerful. The limitations are that it's for personal projects and all your projects are publicly available, but I still think it's the very best one to get started with and learn with, and it's completely web-based. You don't have to download anything. So everything starts with a sketch on a plane and there are all sorts of tools, rectangles, circles, and lines. I'm just gonna use some simple lines to draw a shape and we'll do a few different things with it. So I've added some dimensions here and you can see how easy it is to just draw a sketch and you can actually just export that sketch. If you do nothing else with this, this is extremely powerful because you can upload this to sites like Send, Cut, Send and order your parts directly laser cut, delivered to your door in just about any material. Or if you have an NC plasma table, you can go ahead and just cut them out yourself. Now you can extrude that shape to make a solid that you could 3D print or machine and you can modify it by adding a uh, round there or a hole through the center. Or one of the coolest things here that's pretty unique and on shape is you can take that shape and turn it into a sheet metal model. And you just pick which edges you want to bend, which faces you don't want, and it'll create this sheet metal model right out of that solid that you could use to build trays, pans, tanks, all sorts of things like that. And it'll even create the flat pattern that you could use to cut this out on a plasma table and bend it with a press break. Or if you don't have those available, again, you could upload it here to Send, Cut, Send, and they will even do the bending and deliver it to you ready to weld up those corners, and you'd have a really nice product right there. So um, that makes the CAD really straightforward for sheet metal work, and I really like it for that really, really powerful tool. Now, this isn't a step-by-step -step tutorial. I'm moving pretty fast just to kind of show the capability of each tool. Now, in addition to some of those awesome sheet metal features and being able to create solid models that you can 3D print or uh, send out for machining, you can also create great detailed drawings and it's really straightforward to do that. Now, the next CAD package is the one that I think is best for people who are into CNC machining, as well as aspiring small business owners who may be looking to purchase a subscription, but don't wanna break the bank on it. And that one is Fusion 360. This is the one that I use the most. Fusion, once again, has a version for personal use and also a subscription version. I pay the subscription for this one because I use it for my small business, but uh, it's pretty capable on the uh, free side as well. But it's limited to personal projects, so keep that in mind. Now let's draw up a little bit of a part here and we'll look at some of the machining. Now this runs with software that you download on your computer, so it's not completely web-based like Onshape but it does store your files in the cloud uh, by default. So you can access them from any computer. Some people might like that, some might not. I personally do. Anyway, I drew a simple sketch here that I can extrude to be a solid. And we're gonna make a little machined part to look at some of the machining capability because that's the unique thing that you get with Fusion. So this can be extruded and then joined together with that original piece. So I have this sort of L cross section and then we'll uh, dress it up a little bit by adding a couple rounds on the outside corners and a fillet there in the center. And you could work with this design a little more, but this should work for today. Now I'll add a couple of bolt holes here in the back and that's done in the same way with a sketch and a couple extrudes. And it's the same command for both. So pretty, pretty straightforward to do something like this. Now, the reason that this is so nice for CNC machining is you can actually load in a different window 
and create your tool path right here within the same piece of software to be able to machine this out. You can also program plasma cutters or lasers, things like that, right here within. So this is just a roughing pass that the simulation is running on, but uh, you can see how powerful this is to be able to model and uh, be able to program right in here. I mean, this blows my mind because when I was first starting with engineering, um, you know, 15 years ago or so, it was not, this wasn't available for free, this kind of stuff. So um, it's, it's incredible. In addition to the features we looked at, Fusion also has a really capable sheet metal modeling function and the ability to create really nice shop drawings. So it's a very capable system. I find it to be more clunky than Onshape and a little bit more cumbersome to learn. Uh, that said, I use it the most because the subscription fee is the most affordable and I pay that since I use it for my small business. Let's take a minute and talk about this video's sponsor and that's FlexiSpot. I've been personally using a FlexiSpot standing desk for the last two years and the ability to stand up while I'm working on CAD or editing video for a long period of time has made a huge difference on things like back pain. And the price that they offer these at is just surprisingly good. I had been using a two post standing desk and that uh, worked well, but I've just upgraded to their E7 Plus, which is a four post desk. And so it has an actuator in each of the corners to give this thing a lot more stability and more than double the weight capacity of 540 pounds that this thing can hold. I mean, I'm not a little guy, but this thing has the power to lift me up without any problem. Now, the range on this thing is huge. It goes down really low and it can lift up to over 51 inches, which is the highest four post uh, standing desk on the market today. And they give you 30 days to try it out. And if you don't like it, they'll take it back anytime within that month. And after you have decided to keep it, it's a 15 year warranty uh, against anything breaking. Now the keypad on this thing lets you raise and lower it and has four different presets. So if you share your workspace with somebody else, you're gonna be good to go there. And if you look at this glass of water, you can see just how stable and smooth this thing is as it's moving up and down. Most other standing desks on the market cost significantly more already. So on top of this being a great value, they have their ninth anniversary sale running right now. So be sure to check out what they've got going on on the website using the link and information down in the description. Both of these systems we've looked at, the free version has some restriction and it's uh, limited to personal use. So if you don't like that, the next tool is the best unlimited CAD system um, with no restrictions on use, and that goes to FreeCAD. Now, last year, a new version of FreeCAD was released that is way better than what was out there before. In the past, I didn't even consider it as an option, but uh, in preparing this video, I downloaded the new version, and I gotta say, it works pretty good. Now, FreeCAD is completely free and open source, and you can download the software on your computer, and you have to manage your own files. Now, very similar, you start drawing on a plane and create a sketch, um, but I find it to be a little more cumbersome than those more commercial versions. That said, it's night and day better than how it used to be. But see, I have to click at the start and end of my lines, and the clicks are just a little bit harder to get lined up just right. But uh, the dimensioning tools worked surprisingly well, and uh, it was able to follow everything that I wanted to do. So I'm pretty happy, pretty happy with that. Now, I don't think that you can create a sketch just right off of a feature without specifically defining a plane, but I could be wrong because I'm brand new to this. I haven't been using FreeCAD, so um, if, if you know, let me know in the comments, but uh, there are a few things like that. So here I'll add that flange onto the back and similar um, to the other model, I can put in the uh, rounds on the outside and radius on the inside. For some reason I had to define that in thousandths of an inch rather than just the decimal points. Now here I have to actually explicitly define any reference geometry where the other uh, software tools will do that for you. And you can see I just missed a click there. So. Um, it can be difficult to, to hit just the right spot, those kinds of things. But overall, it worked pretty good and I was able to get the job done. Now there are separate cuts for, uh, or separate commands for a cut rather than a uh, 
pad there. And these remind me a lot of Katia that I used many years ago. Now you could export this model to 3D print or send to a machine shop, but I want to try out uh, creating a blueprint. I didn't show this in uh, Fusion or Onshape, but uh, believe me, it works good in both of those. It was a limitation in the old version of FreeCAD, but these tools work pretty good. Now I need to work with this drawing a little bit more to get it up to standard, but the tools all work and it doesn't look half bad after you export it. Now these first three systems were parametric solid modeling tools where you could create 3D models and you could also create 2D sketches for laser cutting and plasma cutting and things like that. The next two that we're going to look at are specifically for 2D. One of them is more mechanical and the other is a little bit more decorative. So the next one we're going to look at is the best 2D CAD tool for mechanical parts and that one is LibreCAD. So LibreCAD is available to download. It's completely free and open source, so uh, very available. Now with LibreCAD, it's not parametric in the same way as the sketchers in the other software. So see here, I have this uh, sketch palette and I can draw a rectangle. There's circles and lines and other tools like that but I really need to know what shape I'm drawing ahead of time. It reminds me of back in 2001, 2002, you might not believe it, but I actually took hand drafting. And in there, um, when you're drafting something by hand, you need to know exactly what point you're putting everything, the radius on everything, and it's the same way here, because uh, while you do have some tools to move and stretch things, intent is to actually draft it out uh, like a digital version of hand drafting. But you can see it's fairly straightforward to put some uh, circles there and I have a grid that uh, is helping me to select the points or you can manually type in the XY coordinates of them. Now there are some features to modify the corners like a fillet here. Um, I can put the rounds on the outside corners just by selecting them and create a little base plate here. So it's really useful for things like this, but it's also useful for uh, modifying DXFs and that's what I use it for the most. So if I get like a DXF in uh, of a bracket or something and I wanna move a hole or resize a hole or offset something, it's really easy to just open it directly in there and you can modify it. Now here I exported that uh, DXF, it just saves right out as the DXF and I can upload it here to get my uh, parts cut out of whatever material I want at send, cut, send or I can cut them on my plasma table or whatever I wanted to do. And there are also drafting tools, so if you were ambitious you could create a full print in here. None of the tools that we've looked at so far are really great for decorative stuff like signage. And so when I'm designing up a sign to plasma cut or send out to a uh, laser cut company, I tend to use a graphic design software and the best free one in my opinion is Inkscape. So once again, it's completely free to download uh, an open source and you hold all of the files on your own computer instead of in the cloud. Now the tools in here are more artistic in nature, but uh, you could draw some mechanical parts. You can put dimensions on things, but it's a lot better for artistic stuff. So you can see I'm just drawing out a little metal cut sign. So I drew the outside border and then I'll add some font. Whenever it's metal cut, I need a stencil font. So the middle, you know, don't fall out of the D's and the O's and things like that. So I'll align that and see how you can just stretch it really easily to do this sort of thing. Now I'm going to rip off my own logo here because I'm on my laptop and I don't have the vector file for it. So the quality won't be very good. This is real low resolution. It's just a little thing that shows up in the corner um, on YouTube. But uh, anyway, you can pick up just regular images and convert them to a vector file which is what you need to be able to cut things out. So that's one nice thing you can do in the software um, if you have an image that you want to turn into a vector file. And, and the better the image is, the better it turns out. But here I can just save this out as a DXF and it's ready to upload to have laser cut or to cut out uh, yourself on your own NC table. So pretty useful tool. Hey, thank you so much for tuning in. I can't tell you how much I appreciate every comment that rolls in. Every time you guys hit that like button, let me know that you're actually out there. It means the world to me. And a huge thanks to FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video and making it possible. So if you're in the market for a new standing desk, be sure to check out that link in the description. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.